Well, hi, food friends, and welcome to Cavalcade of Food. I'm Kevin. Cavalcade of Food, that's where uh, Kevin cooks and I eat. <laughs> and look what we got. Oh, it's this blueberry is, season. Yeah, and this is the first of mm, the Michigan blueberry crop, which is um, one of the best in the nation, I think. Now, did you pick those yourself? No, got them at the berry farm, though, already picked. It's in, too hot. In, in Croswell, Michigan, which is, this is how we... If we're showing Michigan, Croswell's right about there. Up in your nose? Oh, in yeah, the thumb. in the thumb. And, um, so what are we making with blueberries? We are going to make, um, as a, let's call it a accoutrement to our spare rib dinner tonight, we're going to make some cornbread, but not just cornbread, blueberry cornbread. Ah, so we're going to dedicate this to Willy Wonka's favorite blueberry, <laughs> Violet Beauregard. <laughs> Violet Beauregard. So... Here's what we've got. We're making cornmeal from scratch, and here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put together our dry ingredients first. I got a cup of cornmeal here. You know what I love is no, I, that's just, white cornmeal. You just bought that bowl for like ten cents. I today, did, didn't yes, you? at uh, at an estate sale, and uh, so, washed it, of so course. Cornmeal. Cup of cornmeal. A cup of uh, flour. Flour. A half a cup of sugar. Okay, and then we've got. A teaspoon of salt and three teaspoons of baking powder. Baking That's going to be our leavener. I'm with you so far. Okay, let's just stir this around. Okay, I'm going to get this all mixed in. Some people use white cornmeal, which, or and some people use yellow cornmeal. I'm using white. Is uh, there a difference in taste? I don't know. My, my friends down south say you got to use white, but. Um, Anyways, that's what I had. Now, we've got some wet ingredients, and what have we got? We've got two eggs. I'm going to put those in this bowl. And then I've got a half a cup of vegetable oil. In she goes. In she goes. And then I've got two-thirds cup of milk. Okay? Whole milk. Whole milk. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to... Make a splashy mess. Yeah, we're good at that. I don't have an apron on today. But you're okay. wearing blue. I am wearing blue. Um, this is my Concert of Colors t-shirt, which is a great music festival here in Detroit that Ralph's always very involved in and kind of puts together. And Okay, here we go. Souvenir for yeah. the chef. Okay. So we've mixed our oil, our milk, and our eggs. To that, we're going to add our dry ingredients. You with me? I am with you. Okay. Let's get that in. And then we're going to, this will make our batter. By the way, oven's preheating to 400 degrees. Okay. And I have greased a baking dish. That's like an 8x8. Eight eight. You can either use an 8x8 eight eight or a 9x9. Nine nine. And I don't have a 9x9. Nine nine so did you reason. just spray it or grease it? With I, sp uh, I sprayed it with, with nonstick spray. And it's so warm it looks like it's dripping all down to the bottom. Is that where it so, needs to go anyway? Yeah. There's okay. some on the side too. Okay. So you put your wet and your dry ingredients together. Right. Now, there's. if we were just done right here, we'd have our cornbread. But we're not done because we've got to add our blueberries. Freshly washed, freshly picked. Yeah. And I'm going to put in blueberry overboard there. Oh, about a cup and a half of blueberries. So they're so sweet. Yeah. So there's a them. cup. I always buy them and think I'm going to do more with them, but I end up just eating them right out of the little. Sometimes that's box. the best. And a half. I'm going to put in a few more it. for good measure. And we're going to kind of fold those in. Okay. Get them coated with the batter. That way they're distributed a little more evenly. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're ready. So, bring our pan over here. And in, maybe let me do it. How's well, can you see what we're doing here? Oh yeah, just kind of just pouring it right into the mm -hmm. pre-greased pan. Get 
of our our batter. Making sure to get every last bit of it. Um, I really love the music. Yeah, this is Al Hurt who. Uh, oh, we love him. You turned me on to Al Hurt, yes. and I used to just uh, ignore his records in the dollar bins or the twenty-five cent flea markets and Salvation Armies, but um, I realized he's really quite a good player, and he's from Louisiana, and cornbread's a big uh, southern treat, so... It sure is. Okay. We've got it. In we go. Again, 400 degrees, 25 to 30 minutes on the timer. And we'll keep an eye on it. In the meantime, I'll get cleaned up. We're going to have blueberry cornbread for dinner today with fresh Michigan blueberries. Oh, that's right, tasty. our timer has gone off, and ooh, there it is. Ooh, that looks great. Nice and golden brown on the top. And you can see the blueberries poking through. Um, we're just going to, can't do anything with it till it cools, but there it is. Uh, could brush some melted butter on the top if you wanted to. Now that mixture that you made with the blueberries in it, could you also have put that in little cups? Yes, you could have. We could have put that in little a muffin tin, we made corn blueberry corn muffins if we wanted to. But uh, we went this way, which is a little less fuss, um, and since we're going to have it with dinner. One time I made corn bread and I put a can of corn in it and made it very moist and delicious. That's wonderful. Yeah, and it gives it extra corn flavor. Oh, so. so this is going to be corn flavor with the corn texture because of the cornmeal. But a little sweetness from the but blueberries. little sweet pops of blueberries and, uh, of course, lots of butter. So It's that anyways, time of year. Yep. Enjoy your blueberries, whether you get them here in Michigan or anywhere else. They're... Um, they're good for you, and they're great in so many things, including cornbread. So thanks for being a part of this one. We hope you had a good time. We sure did. There's always room for you at our table at Cavalcade of Food. That's right. Thanks, Ralph. See you next time. Bye now. Bye.